What am I learning from Jenkins, Kelly, Clinton, Mick Williams, Pitts Wiley, Riley, Hobbs, Moore, and a little girl who likes kittens? About participatory culture, remix, copyright, and media literacy. Jenkins et al. asked me to rethink which students are being served and what forms of learning are being facilitated in my classroom today. They asked me to understand that the classroom should be the ideal place to reflect on how knowledge is produced and where we can learn from the participatory cultures that exist today. So I started thinking, as an educator, what is holding me back? And while I was thinking, I picked up my mouse and I started writing. Well, typing really. I asked the question again, what was holding me back? I started typing and thinking a lot. I won't be able to control what my students do. I can't assess that kind of work. I don't understand all the new tools out there. I won't know who really understands and who is cheating. I don't have time to try something new. I'm afraid to teach something wrong. I'm not doing my job if my students teach me. I don't have access to the web tools I need. I have the standardized tests to worry about. I don't know where to start. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling left behind. I know my students deserve more. I know my students learn more outside of my classroom. I know some of my students read and write more outside of my classroom. I wonder, what if I took a chance? What if we all got to decide what matters in my classroom? What if my students use their reading and their writing to learn? What if we lev leveraged the distributed expertise in my class? What if my classroom became a fan community full of beta readers? What if I downplayed assessments and isolated tests? What if I let my students use their learning artifacts formatively? What if I understood that fair use is central to the practice of teaching and learning? What if I started teaching media literacy and production activities with my youngest students? What if I learned to balance my what if I learned to balance play with learning by pairing media production and inquiry based learning? What if I started a new trend for other teachers to follow? One that wasn't about seeing no evil, closing the door, or hyper complying to the use of copyrighted materials in the classroom. What if I started writing more to think? What if I modeled self-reflection more often? What if I started a blog? What if 